machete. What is up, guys? D Product here. I'm gonna show you some gameplay on Moon. Uh, this is part one of three. Uh, yeah. Uh, what happens is that at first my friend Elite Masi uh goes AFK, unfortunately. But not a no man's land, cause that would be terrible. I mean, going having me. someone go AFK in no sucks. man's land would be terrible. Just not being able to get out of there, like five hit knives on zombies. I think no man's land was a pretty good idea from Treyarch. They like, let you get at least an extra 500 points before you actually get in there to, you know, play to uh, what's it called? To like. What's it called? Um, to get into the actual re real thing that you wanted to get into, which was Moon. I mean, a lot of people were anticipating or thinking, "Hey, shouldn't it sh shouldn't it be uh shouldn't the next map be in Area 51?" And they were partly right, but not exactly right. Uh, what's it called? They they got it right, but they weren't exactly right. This is pretty cool, but how did zombies get up here? They got it right, but I, I, you know, I think the moon, I think this was a better idea than Area 51. Sorry for having to make you guys wait for my answer there, but I think this was much better than Area 51. I mean, they give you no gravity. I like the little, I'm going to be honest, myself, I like the little animation to the, when you put on the astronaut mask. It's just me. I guess I like animations like that. That's why. That's probably why I enjoy campaign. Talking about campaign, uh, I was thinking of letting, doing a Marfer one. I mean, yeah, Call of Duty four, Marfer two, Marfer three series. A little series. Uh, it's gonna finish, you know. But a little series where it's gonna end. Um, what's it called? I'm gonna have all the campaign missions from Modern Warfare 1 or COD 4 as I like to call it through Modern Warfare 3 which is gonna be pretty cool it's gonna like have a whole little story HD perfect I'm not gonna commentate over it I'll have you guys tell me in the comments below if you want me to commentate over it or not uh yeah uh, that's gonna be cool I thought that was a good idea to do all the campaign missions of the Modern Warfare series I'm I think I'm going to the midnight launch for Mario Kart 3 plus Battlefield 3. I might do a vlog. I don't know, but talking about Battlefield, uh, my friend Chris. Unfortunately, his PS3 got the yellow light of death. His name is his name is Sneaky Shoes, which is like on the, his username pretty much. But I call him Chris. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Unfortunately, Elite Masi, as you can see, we get a little points off of him because he keeps getting downed here. And we t I took off my mask because so I sounded like I was Nikolai, but uh, I, I was Dempsey. My character was Dempsey. I didn't, I don't, like, the, uh, they should really fix how your character's uh, colors are different. Because when you're on the moon, you know, when you're on No Man's Land, you're not paying attention to how your characters look. Now you die. But, you know. Hell pigs, my gun is full of bullets, and what you I, will be the same. I don't like how they start adding these bosses. No, I don't. I didn't enjoy that at one bit. George Romero was just a pain, a pain in everybody. Nobody liked him. He was just so annoying. It took forever to kill. Once you killed him, I guess that made you feel good. Or something but you know you got a perk and stuff but you know it took forever sixty million dead machines couldn't kill them death the death machines were like really they were useful I mean I mean, dead machines, I was paying attention to killing the zombies, not having to focus on one stupid uh, character. I mean, the astronaut here, I guess it isn't that bad as George Romero, but George Romero was, I guess this guy's pretty annoying. I mean, as you can see over there where I'm aiming, 
there was a broken glass. That was because we were trying to take him out with the grenades. I don't like trying to use my grenades in the first room because the excavator is going to get a, be a pain. I know that. And, you know, I want to hack the excavator so I can get out of everyone's way. And also, when we turn on the power, I just hack, hack the excavator for some points. Maybe if I'm fought, maybe if I'm low on points, I have like mule kick or something. Just hack the excavator and get like an extra uh, 1,000 points, I think it is. Yeah. I mean, the mule kick was really good. Really good idea. I I forgot what everyone was thinking what it was going to be. They were thinking it was going to be, uh, you're going to dual wield your weapons or something. Most people thought it was going to be, uh, what it, what it is. Which is being able to have three guns. I forgot what other people thought it was going to be, but... Whatever. Uh... Hey, M14 is pretty onto the gameplay, ah. but the M14 is pretty, pretty good. Uh, I thought I got down there. It looks like I got down there actually, cause everything was gray and I had my pistol out. Yeah. Oh, what's it called? What was I gonna say? I cannot wait for Modern Warfare 3. And Battlefield 3. Those are going to be two amazing, amazing games. Battlefield 3, I played the beta. It was really good, I have to say. The beta was amazing. The only bad thing was the glitching. And how, I mean, I want, I want the vehicles to be in and stuff. But, anyway, we're not talking about Battlefield 3. I'm playing some zombies here. It has full ammo. I As I, I like it how the, I'm gonna eventually do the Easter eggs because, as I told you, my friend's sneaky shoes or Chris, as I like to call him, he got the yellow light of death, and we always did all of the Easter eggs with him, all of them. He had his laptop right now with he had his laptop next to him. He would let us listen in on it. We do all the Easter eggs. Unfortunately. We never got to finish the Shangri-La Easter egg, cause, you know, took a little bit. I mean, I still need to do that so I can do this one. I mean, I still haven't uh, felt how it felt feels to have all eight perks, I think it is. Yeah, PhD, oh, uh, what's it called? Not in this map, I think it's nine in this map because of Mule Kick. I'm pretty sure I love this but anyway, uh, I like how I camp pretty much having your whole team having all the perks and when they get down they still have the perks. That's pretty good advantage. Plus I think in single player you can't get down because you have all the perks which you have quicker right. I don't know I haven't tried that out. I don't like playing solo. I like playing with three or four players. This is because one if you're playing two player someone's gonna get downed and no one's gonna enjoy that cuz then there's gonna be one person under pressure there's gonna be another uh, continuously ragging on the guy to to get him I'm gonna be honest uh, I love it when the random box spawns somewhere next to us like close I mean, even if I don't get a good gun I know that's pretty you know pretty useful all that stuff yeah. Ooh, uh, shiny. The H case, pretty disgusting. I'm surprised I got it so early. In the, where am I at? Five? Five. Yeah. What's. Oh, this gun requires too yeah, much I'm gonna work. enjoy. I'm gonna do all the Easter eggs too. Like, starting like from drink. Ascension to. All the way from Ascension to Moon. I'm gonna do all the That's Easter eggs. Not gonna do much. And. Like, I don't think, no, Kino, there's no Easter egg. Five, there's no Easter egg. Yeah, I'm going to do all of them. It's going to be, it's going to be cool. Just, not a series, but, you know, that. Speaking of zombies and stuff, I'll be Finally, having an open lobby. Like me. I mean, you guys can tell, tell in the comments below if you'd like me to have a multiplayer open lobby or game. I could have a zombie multi. I could have a zombie. I have World at War too. 
you know? Oh, uh, well, remember guys, that uh, I'll be having that in a little bit. So, you guys, I'll tell you guys the date and stuff when I can invite you and stuff. So, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.